Well, welcome back, folks. Now that we've got the Honda SL125 project complete, I'm going to take a little bit of a break from doing motorcycle videos for a week or two. And I thought, in lieu of uh, doing the typical video, I thought I would just shoot this little quick video for you, uh, sharing some thoughts that I have on a motorcycle project that I've had in mind for many years, and I have never been able to really get my hands on one of these to do a restoration. I really would prefer to do a restoration rather than a reconditioning, but it would depend on the, on the project itself if, if I ever manage to get a hold of one. And the project I'm talking about is a Suzuki TS50, otherwise known as the Gaucho. It's a small 50cc two-stroke. It's the smallest in the TS line that Suzuki made. I think they made them from about 70, 1971 to around 75 or so. In the models, uh, model years I'm particularly interested in would be 72 through uh, 74. In a minute here we'll go over to the computer and I will um, show you a little more detail on the specific model I'm looking for. And it would really be nice if one of the viewers out there knows where there is one of these or knows where I can get a hold of it or has one and uh, certainly I'd be willing to travel a reasonable distance to pick it up. But Nonetheless, I thought I'd share this with you, and if someone has one and knows where there is one, let me know. Now, I, I kicked myself a little bit because about 10 years ago or so, I, believe it or not, came across one of these bikes along the road right in my area one day, and sitting out there with a little for sale sign on it, and a guy wanted, I think, $250 for it. It was a 73 model, it was blue, and it was in very rough shape. That in and of itself doesn't concern me, but it was pretty rough shape, and I thought at the time he's asking too much money for it. In retrospect, with the price of bikes these days, small bikes in particular, um, I would have snatched it up in a second for 250 US dollars. But I didn't, and who knows what, what happened to it. It probably went into the dumpster and has long been recycled. I don't know. Um, I know I went back about six months later and it wasn't there anymore. And I think even the people living in the house are different. So uh, anyway, I am looking for one of these projects. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a little look in more detail here uh, at the computer. And by the way, uh, some of you know that I'm, I'm quite a nature lover. I like to spend time outside and I appreciate Mother Nature. Towards the end or at the end of this video, uh, you might want to uh, either fast forward to that if the rest of this video doesn't interest you or just play through and let it, let it play out. Uh, the video at the very end I shot the other day, yesterday in fact, it was pouring rain late in the afternoon. I happened to look out and I, and I saw what you'll see recorded here. I shot this in my cell phone camera, so it's on a high zoom because this is way in the back of our property. And again, I, I, it was raining hard and I, I just happened to look out there uh, and caught a glimpse of this. So I quickly zoomed my camera and shot this video. And uh, I thought it's really interesting. It's very, very um, appealing to me. And I thought other folks might like to see it too. So if you're interested, just stay tuned for that at the end. Otherwise, let's go to the computer. We're over at my shop computer right now and I have three images I'm going to share with you representing the three different model years of this particular uh, Suzuki I'm interested in. Again, as I believe I indicated at the intro, this bike, at least in North America, was offered for, I think, uh, five years, 70, 1971 through 1975. It might have come back in the late 70s, I'm not sure about that, but I'm interested in three particular model years, 70, 1972, 1973, and 1974. Uh, this is a period advertising piece. I got this photo off of um, the internet. Uh, it's just a stock photo or stock uh, dealer sales brochure. Uh, the North American model, you'll know here, uh, has a high or up-mounted front fender. I believe uh, some of the bikes on some of the continents that were imported, such as Europe perhaps, and maybe even Asia, had, uh, I think, a low-mounted, perhaps even a chrome front fender. The North American model, as far as I know, never had, at least not in the model of years I'm looking for, a low-mounted fender. So note the high front fender. 
This is a 1972 model. It's orange and white. This is a 1973 model. Same basic um, bike. I think the only thing they changed over the over these model years was the color and the striping on the fuel tank decals. Again, note the high front fender. And then this is the 1974 model. I think the uh, instrument cluster might have changed a little bit on this model from the previous two as well. I'm not sure about that. So again, 1974, 1973, and 1972. I'm not terribly interested in the 1971 model or the uh, 1975 model. The 75 to me looks quite a bit different than this and the, these three model years are really would my interest. If I really had my druthers I would go for the 1973 model primarily as that would match the 1973 Suzuki TS-185. I restored a few projects projects back now and I think it would complement that bike uh, really well but I would I would take any of these three if I could get them so if anybody watching this uh, knows where I might be able to get one of these models or even if you've got some comments about it uh, maybe you've owned one maybe you have one you're not willing to sell I understand that um, I just thought I would share some of my thinking I I have been looking actively for one of these now for for a number of years. Now, some of my viewers might say, well, how many motorcycles do you need? Don't you have other projects that are suitable for restoration? Well, I do. Uh, what I've, I've found is I'm, as I get older, I like working on smaller bikes better, and I'm getting to the point where my projects are uh, mostly bigger bikes. I have um, a 250 Kawasaki Triple, an S1 that um, is probably coming up due, and then I have the um, S2, I have the 400 triple, the 500 triple, uh, those are of course getting bigger, and I will probably get to those someday, but right now my interest primarily is in smaller bikes, they're easier to handle, they tend to be less expensive to restore, they're easier to move around and store in my shop, so it's not that I'm running out of projects, but I've always been interested in this little Suzuki TS-50, otherwise known as the Gaucho. So I'd be interested in any comments that folks might have on this or, or not. Uh, and again, just a reminder, if you're interested in a, a little shot of Mother Nature at her, at her best, uh, uh, stay tuned here. Um, there'll be about a two-minute or so clip. Again, keep in mind I shot this on my handheld cell phone at high zoom so it's not as smooth as I would have preferred it to be but you work with what you got at the time. That's going to be it for this video today folks. Any issues, questions, thoughts, drop me a note. Otherwise as usual, thanks for watching.